So I was going to make a video on PewDiePie and how his videos are so much better than people would tell you and how he's misjudged as being racist and homophobic when he is none of those things. I really don't care about capitalizing on this controversy and to be honest, I do feel that this video will get me into a lot more hot water and be a lot more damaging than if I just avoided this video entirely or just waited until the atmosphere was more settled. However, I personally can't do that. But before I could make that video, there was the New Zealand shootings. I wanted to address the elephant in the room, which is that the New Zealand shooter called PewDiePie's name before shooting and killing Muslims at a New Zealand mosque. I think it's sickening that they killed innocent people. It's like what Hitler did to the Jews in the Holocaust. They blamed an entire race of people for individuals who were sickened extremists. Look around. These innocent families of those who died had nothing to do with terrorists. These are not the people who have hurt society. Those who were killed were innocent men and women. There were innocents slaughtered in cold blood and their families will continue to suffer every day because of this inhumane act. The idea that the shooter thought PewDiePie would endorse terrorism is sickening. I don't know PewDiePie, I really don't, but I know he utterly rejects this line of thinking. And the fact that the New York Times and the Rolling Stone thought they could capitalize on this by saying PewDiePie was an early stepping stone for radicalism is also disgusting. Pretending that PewDiePie inspired this terrorist when that is blatantly not true, and when I bet they have never taken a close look at any of his videos. Yes, I'm condemning you, and I wouldn't mind writing a full piece on why I believe your information is misinformative and incorrect. There's a reason why New Zealand and Australian news didn't report the shooter saying PewDiePie's name, because in no way does PewDiePie represent this disgusting way of thought, and to represent it as so is false. Which comes back to the crux of the problem. Why did PewDiePie make jokes about these groups in the past? Surely this means he's racist, isn't he? Look, I know I'm probably not going to get through to you if you already think that PewDiePie is racist, but I'm going to try my best anyway. Why does PewDiePie do this? He does this because PewDiePie hates these extremist groups. He does this to make them into a joke. PewDiePie makes fun of these people. He erodes these extremist ideologies and all they represent by turning them into a joke. That their signature anthems and symbols would be laughed at, destroying any meaning they originally had. Their entire creed turned into nothing but a meaningless joke and made fun of. And I think that's the worst punishment for a genocidal, racist line of thinking. To be laughed at and stomped under the carpet. That's why PewDiePie makes these jokes and in this way is able to broach topics which no one else would ever dare cover and to talk about things which others would deem as taboo. That sign that two men were held saying death to all Jews wasn't only because he was showing the extent people would go to for five dollars but also that said that neo-Nazis were pathetic relying on two people in the jungle on a rat badly written sign to promote their sickening cause. The idea that nobody supports them or would support them. That's the joke. Everything you made, everything you thought, your entire ideology is reduced to nothing but a joke. To crumble and collapse and be laughed at by others. That is the ultimate punishment. And I think that method of condemnation is equally powerful and even more so than simply condemning them because it takes away any power they held over others because they become just another internet joke, forgotten by, every, forgotten by everyone and ridiculed. And just take a look at any of his videos where he made jokes referring to neo-Nazis. You can't be seriously telling me that he was being serious. 
He's laughing at them, deriding them as powerless, nonsensical, and idiotic. PewDiePie is so popular because he interacts with his viewers, he talks to them so freely and honestly. He actually cares about his viewers. He laughs with his viewers and he talks about them things everyone else is scared to, of talking about because it will harm their reputations. And he does it anyway. Don't you find it's funny that he's the top YouTuber despite only doing videos on gaming? He smashes out every other channel. Out of every other channel in this vicious arena, which is YouTube, PewDiePie is the one to triumph. And you know what? Even if he wasn't the top YouTuber, it wouldn't change anything because he makes videos that actually matter and make people smile. But PewDiePie is a symbol of Nazi racism. You see, when he said nigger on stream, he was actually referencing the history of black oppression and ridiculing all African American ancestors. Also, in saying that word, he was trying to make fun of an unchangeable attribute of African American citizens to appeal to far right groups and subtly push his neo Nazi agenda and radicalize innocent young children. You see, PewDiePie is too stupid to do that. That's right. My defense for that is PewDiePie just doesn't have the brain cells to do that. Are you trying to get yourself killed by bringing up old news that everyone already said was wrong? No. But let's be real honest here. Lots and lots of YouTubers have said nigger. And it's not because they hate African Americans. I know some people harbor a lot of anger towards that term, and I won't pretend to know what it means to different people. It could be a cause of a lot of suffering, and I understand that. For others, they have made that term their own, to resist the derogatory connotations with the word nigger. But PewDiePie is just too stupid. I just don't think he's smart enough for that. My question is, was PewDiePie actually trying to condemn all African American ancestors when he said nigger in a game of PUBG? Also, what benefit would that bring him to criticize African American ancestors? All I can think of is it bringing a hail of criticism down upon him if he really meant to say that. I really don't think he was trying to criticize the other player in that way, but instead refers to those who have taken the word and made it their own, and instead talks about those within a specific group. Oh, but you see, allowing him to say nigger is normalizing a derogatory term, so people cannot learn from the abhorrent history of where people called African Americans Negro slaves. I agree, that is entirely abhorrent that African Americans were enslaved and seen as second class citizens. However, at the same time, people need to people know about that. Just because someone says it does so someone says nigger does not mean that they do not recognize this history. However, another question does it even matter if it's normalized? if it loses all semblance of its original derogatory meaning. Furthermore, PewDiePie has never expressed any animosity towards African Americans, except to ridicule others for their sickening views. Although I understand, although I think there are double standards for what is expected of PewDiePie and other YouTubers, I do understand it's not really an argument, because he is the figurehead, so to speak, of YouTube even though they'll never recognize him as such. This is because he makes for bad PR for YouTube, so they pretend he's not there, even though he earns them a lot of money. And I just get sad when I hear others saying that PewDiePie's audience is made up of little children who are too stupid and naive to know better, because it's blatantly not true. I'm an adult and I know of many other adults who watch PewDiePie because he makes videos which put a smile on my face, that are insightful, and he's willing to talk about things that no one else is. And you know what? Felix is braver than anyone. He embraces that hatred. He j just laughs it off by saying that he has a nine-year-old army, and I just stand there in amazement, because he is so much better than me. 
He's the better man to be able to shrug and laugh off this criticism, like water off a duck's back. You might ask, why would you risk your reputation over this? By associating yourself with PewDiePie, you're ruining any future opportunities at working with YouTube. I don't know politics. I don't know how to manipulate people. I don't know how to be popular, man. I'll admit, I'm not always right. Maybe I'm wrong here. But right now, at this moment, with everything I know, I don't feel that this is just, which is why I'm saying this. Maybe I'll regret this in future because some company looking to employ me will be like, you are protecting a racist, homophobic Nazi. So you're a racist. The thing is, I don't care about any of that because I'm young and short-sighted. And I think that's the benefit of being a teenager. I only care about what's the truth and what's right in this moment, right now. I'm dumb and stupid, I know, because I tell myself that every day. I only know what is I know in this moment and nothing else. I say what I think is true and I don't let anyone censor me to appeal to anyone else. If you think I'm wrong, please tell me, slap me, tell me I'm a bloody idiot because I wanna know if I am. I hope that this is a well-written and thought-out response. I really do. That's it from me. I'm out.